Hey, what's up guys, Auto Fanatics. So today's video, I'm gonna do a review of the new Chemical Guys Sticky Snowball Ultra Snow Foam Car Wash Soap. So I posted in my Black Friday video, I've been testing a lot of ceramic soaps and stuff lately, and I always ask if anybody wants to see something new that's come out on the market, and you want me to do a test and a review, uh, just send me a feedback, post a comment, or email me direct, and this was the number one choice. So I just got this from Chemical Guys a few days ago. We're gonna do a touchless wash on the Alfa Romeo. So now, they're claiming that this soap is stickier, which will help it cling to the vertical surfaces to help a longer dwell time and also encapsulate the dirt and bring it to the ground. So what we're gonna to see today, we're gonna to try it in the bucket, we're gonna throw some in the bucket, we're gonna foam it up with, with the garden hose to see how well the foam lasts in the bucket. Because a lot of these high foaming soaps, depending on the water and what you have in your water, especially high chlorine, the foam will dissipate in a couple of minutes. And then when you go to wash your car, with a two bucket method, then you don't have any foam, you gotta foam it up or add more soap. We're also gonna try it in the Grills Garage, brilliant finish foam cannon. So the Alfa Romeo stays outside and uh, it's covered in dirt, it's rained a couple of days, and we're gonna see how well the self-cleaning properties are of this soap, or is it gonna strip the surface and make it feel kinda like the honeydew snow foam. I stopped using Chemical Guys soaps, okay? The soaps work well, they foam out well, and they tend to be a good value. Now, as far as value goes, this bottle on their website, MSRP, is $19.99. They're now selling it for $12.99 for a 16-ounce bottle. So it's not the most economical uh, because when you factor in sales tax and shipping, you're still gonna be about 20 bucks for a 16-ounce bottle. So we're gonna get set up right now. We're gonna foam up the car and see how well it does. All right, guys, we're back. So we're gonna just throw a couple of squirts, probably two, into the bucket. And it also has a pretty strong potent cherry scent. So we're gonna see how well this is gonna foam up. And from looking at it, it's actually making the foam pink. Okay, so foaming actions of Chemical Guys soaps has always been one of their strengths, but it doesn't feel extremely slick, you know, just by sticking my hand in there. But we're gonna let that sit for a couple of minutes and we're gonna come back and we're gonna see if the foam is still in the bucket or if it's settled down based on the chemistry and the water supply that I have here in New York. Because I actually don't have a filter on the garden hose. I only have that for the pressure washer. Okay, so we have nice thick foam. We're gonna throw a mitt in there and then we're gonna get this set up now in the foam cannon. According to the instructions, they say one to two ounces in the foam cannon. We're gonna be conservative. We're gonna give it two ounces. Okay, we're just gonna use my measuring cup there. And the two ounces isn't a lot, so there's two ounces right there in a measuring cup. We're gonna dump that in the Griot's Garage. Brilliant finished foam cannon, because this is the foam cannon that I pretty much use for now on. It's got a really nice uh, neon pink hue to it. Now, as far as the scent, let's see. It's pretty strong cherry, but it's actually not bad. I think Chemical Guys does a very good job with their fragrances, whether it's their air fresheners and some of their products. So you definitely are gonna like that. And to be honest with you, they're such a huge brand. And you know they pretty much listen to what the customers want and they create products that the customers want. So we got this thing set up right there. The foam's still looking good in the bucket. So I think we're gonna be good to go as far as using it for a two bucket method. It's gonna be perfectly fine. We're gonna foam up my Alfa Romeo right now. We're gonna see how well, if it does cling to the side of the car any better. And we're also gonna see any self-cleaning properties if it's gonna activate and pull some of the dirt off the wheels and the side of the car, we're gonna see it in the foam runoff and we're also gonna see if it's sticky. So now some of the stuff that's sticky and has high fragrance, it could attract more bugs and dust and it also could clog up the mesh screen in your foam cannon. So you gotta be careful what you're using. So let's get over to the car right now, get the pressure washer fired up and get this watch started. All right guys, so we're gonna foam it up. We're gonna see how well this, this stuff does. So you guys could see it foams up really well. Um, 
not as much as I thought. I was actually thought I was going to do a little bit more than that, but it's very similar to the Honeydew Snow Foams and a lot of their soaps. The fragrance smells pretty good. I do like it. it smells actually a lot like the, uh, the Auto Fanatic 007 Snowstorm. All right, so you guys can see as far as what it's doing, it foams up well, and it's sticking to the panels pretty well. The vertical panels is not runny, okay? But it's actually very similar uh, foaming performance versus uh, my soap. But we're looking down at the foam runoff, and this is what, it, what I was concerned about. Like I said, a lot of soaps out there, they could foam, they could smell good but I didn't feel really good lubricity in the bucket and I don't see any dirt in this foam runoff right now. From the wheels, oh, we got a little bit back there, a little bit back by the bumper. You can see that just very little off the tire and a little bit back there. So that's it, we're gonna, switch. We're gonna let that sit for a couple of minutes. We're gonna walk around again and then we're gonna see how well it rinses off. They're claiming it's free rinsing and easy to rinse. And it's a little cold out right now but yeah, we just don't see, we just don't see a lot of dirt coming off the bottom of the car. So I don't know if any of you guys have used this new soap yet, you know, please post it in the feedback comment section below. I'm just curious to know what your thoughts are. If you guys are using uh, this versus like the Honeydew Snow Foam, or is this just another version of Honeydew Snow Foam with a different fragrance and a little bit different uh, packaging. So we're gonna let that sit. We're gonna come back in a couple of minutes. All right, guys, we're back. So I let the foam sit for a little bit longer, and now you can start to see some of the dirt that it pulled off the car. Actually, it did pretty, pretty well. You guys can see that there in the foam runoff. And we're gonna go to the back of the car. So it took about a good seven minutes for it to show some self-cleaning, and that's exactly what we want. Okay, so now we're just gonna uh, hold the camera, rinse it off, and see how well it rinses. Well. So, so far, it free, it free rinses really, really well. There's no issues where it was dragging on the paint. Uh, it says it's supposed to have some gloss enhancers in it. I don't really know, but. So, that's it, guys. So, it performs pretty well, the soap. And like I said, the big thing for me when I'm, doing any kind of review of soap and even when I'm developing my own products I want to see self-cleaning I want to see good foam action so this soap actually performed really well you could see this is the foam runoff and you can see a lot of the dirt on my driveway okay which indicates that it does have self-cleaning properties if your car is protected whether you have a ceramic coating or whether you're using any kind of the SiO2 toppers like I use on my car the Autofanatic 007 gloss enhancer ceramic on a regular basis as a drying in and also as a quick detailer so it did really well so now I'm going to grab the ego blower and we're going to see how well the car could actually blow dry to see if there's any grab to the water that's left on the car to see if the soap 
stripped any of the hydrophobic protection on the car. So let's just get the Ego blower. Okay. So it dries pretty well. There is some drag to the water as it glides across the paint based, based off what it did to the finish. So I'm just gonna touch it. It doesn't feel as slick as it did, you know, after using like 007, but it doesn't feel as stripped down as some of the Chemical Guy soaps have done that I've used, you know, in the last 10 years or so. So it's actually not bad. So I definitely would recommend a drying aid or an SiO2 topper to spray the car, which is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go grab the Autofanatic 007 ceramic. We're gonna spray the car, towel dry it. Then I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts on the new Chemical Guys Sticky Snowball Snow Foam. All right guys, so I'm finished with my wash. Just wanna come back to the bucket. This is about 15 minutes later. The, the foam did settle down, but it's still in the bucket. But you can see we're gonna just have to zap it again with the garden hose. So, like I said, let me just give you my honest opinion. I'm not sponsored, it's not a sponsored video. I picked up the new Chemical Guys soap based on comments and feedback that you guys contacted me after I posted my Black Friday video. Now, a couple of good things I like about it. I like the color. The fragrance is really good. It's not overpowering. I was actually impressed. The self-cleaning property, after you let it dwell in the car for five to seven minutes, you actually saw it in the video, it did pull off a lot of the dirt that was on the car. It actually did an outstanding job in the self-cleaning property. So a couple of things that I would like improved would be the actual slickness. So the slickness in the bucket could be better. And the rinse down phase is free rinsing, but there is a little bit of drag as the water drags across the paint. So it does feel like it strips the finish a little bit, but it's definitely not as bad as some of the older Chemical Guys soaps from the past. And I think this is definitely a pretty good soap. So if you guys are a fan of the brand, they're super popular, super successful. They're insane marketing. They're always coming out with new exciting products. And this is definitely one of their newest and latest greatest, but I definitely think it works, works well. It may not be the best value unless you get it on sale or possibly pick this up at Walmart, but $12.99 on their website plus shipping plus sales tax makes this bottle a little bit more of a pricier one. So please consider that, you know, when you're going out there to pick out a new soap. But if anybody has tried this new soap, post it in the comment section below. I want to hear your feedback, but it did an outstanding job doing a touchless wash. And like I said, black cars don't lie. You can see it right there. Uh, the gloss is there, the self-cleaning was there, the fragrance and aromatics were really, really good. The slickness could be improved, and I think that would also help, not only with a contact wash, but also with the rinse down phase. So, thanks for watching this video. If anybody out there wants to see new auto detailing tools, equipment, or anything tested on the Autofanatic channel, I want to hear from you guys. Send me an email direct, post it in the comments below. If something piques my interest, I purchase it, I do my own testing, and I try to give you guys the most unbiased video you're gonna get on YouTube. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more content, and I'll see you guys on an upcoming video soon. Take care, guys.